Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will deep dive into one of the common example of recursive CTE that is employee manager hierarchy. So here we are having a dataset name employee table with columns employee ID, employee name and manager ID. And we have a recursive CTE function named employee hierarchy with anchor member and recursive member. So now let's complete our code. So we will be having our anchor member as select employee ID, employee name, manager ID, one as level from employee where manager ID is null. This denotes the base condition. Now let's complete the recursive member. So in recursive member, what we will be doing, we will be joining our base table with the recursive CTE that is employee hierarchy on manager ID and employee ID. So now let's run our code. So in the output, you can see the level being printed. Now let's understand the step by step execution using the dry run. So in this Excel, you can see we have a source table with the source data set in the iteration one where the anchor member will run with condition where manager ID is null. So it only returns one row with employee name LS and employee ID as one. This is our starting point for the root node of the hierarchy in iteration two which is our first recursive step, we will join the employee table with the employee hierarchy that is the current result with condition e dot manager id equal to eh dot employee id. So now if we look for all the employees whose manager is Alice with employee id one, which gives the matches as Bob with employee id s two and manager id one and Charlie with employee ID as 3 and manager ID as 1. In iteration 3, now we will repeat the join again as e dot manager ID equal to eh dot employee ID. From the previous result, Bob and Charlie, only Bob manages others which matches David with employee ID 4 and Eve with employee ID as 5. Charlie does not manage anyone so no child nodes from him in iteration 4 if we look for employees reporting to david with employee id equal to 4 and eve employee id as 5 we only get the match of rank with employee id as 6 eve does not match anyone so no match from her in iteration 5 we try to join again but frank does not match anyone so the recursive join returns no new rows thus the recursion terminates and we get the final output with level being printed. So this example shows how to model and traverse a hierarchy using a recursive queries. It's widely used in organization chart, folder system, category trees and more. We can even add a path column in the CTE using the string concatenation to trace the reporting using the code. In the anchor member, we need to add the employee name as path and in the recursive member, we need to add concatenation of path with the employee name and renaming the column as path. So here you can see the path is being generated from top level manager to the lowest employee such that Frank reports to David, David reports to Bob and Bob reports to Alice.